subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to this tutorial on, Google Cloud Architect Certification Exam. The lessons and concepts covered in this tutorial, will help you in preparing, for the Professional Cloud Architect Certification by Google. Let's get started. As a Google Cloud Architect, your role is to enable organizations to leverage, Google Cloud Technologies. You need to have a thorough understanding of cloud architecture, and Google Cloud Platform, and should be able to design, develop, and manage, robust, secure, scalable, highly available, and dynamic solutions to drive business objectives. As a cloud architect, you should also be proficient in all aspects of enterprise cloud strategy, solution design, and architectural best practices and experienced in software development methodologies, and approaches, including multi-tier distributed applications, which span multi-cloud, or hybrid environments. The Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Architect Exam, assesses your ability to design and plan a cloud solution architecture, manage and provision the cloud solution infrastructure, design for security and compliance, analyze and optimize technical and business processes, manage implementations of cloud architecture and ensure solution and operations reliability there is no prerequisite for this exam but the recommended experience is more than three years in the industry and more than one year of experience in designing and managing solutions using gcp the exam can be taken online or on site and consists of multiple choice and multiple select questions you can search for Google Cloud Services, or go directly to cloud.google.com. Click on Get Started for free. After you'll finish the account creation process, you'll get $300 in credit to use the Google Cloud Services. This credit is valid for one year. Fill in rest of the details, to create your GCP account. Before getting to understand about the Google Cloud Console, and ways of interacting with Google Cloud Services, let us first understand the concept of cloud resources, regions, and zones. The Google Cloud Platform consists of, physical assets, such as computers and hard disk drives, and virtual resources, such as virtual machines, that are contained in Google's data centers around the globe. Each data center location, is in a region. Each region, is a collection of zones, which are isolated from each other within the region. Each zone, is identified by a name that combines, a letter identifier, with the name of the region. For example, Zone A, in the East Asia region, is named, Asia East 1A. This distribution of resources provides several benefits, including redundancy, in case of failure, and reduced latency, by locating resources closer to clients. This distribution also introduces some rules about how resources can be used together. The diagram here shows the relationship between global scope, regions and zones, and some of their resources. Some resources can be accessed by any other resource, across regions and zones. These global resources include pre-configured disk images, disk snapshots, and networks. Some resources can be accessed only by resources that are located in the same region. These regional resources include static external IP addresses. Other resources can be accessed only by resources, that are located in the same zone. These zonal resources include, VM instances, their types, and disks. The scope of an operation varies depending on what kind of resources you're working with. For example, creating a network is a global operation because a network is a global resource, while reserving an IP address is a regional operation because the address is a regional resource. Now let's get back to our Google Cloud Dashboard. Any GCP resources, that you allocate and use, must belong to a project. You can think of a project, as the organizing entity, for what you're building. To create a new project, you can click on this dropdown, and then click on New Project. Give your project a name and, then create a project. You can switch between your projects using this drop-down. Here you can see that your project is being created. Each GCP project has a project name, a project ID, a project number, which is provided to you. As you work with Google Cloud Platform, 
you'll use these identifiers in certain command lines and API calls. To interact with Google Cloud Platform using a command line, you can install the Google Cloud SDK. Google Cloud SDK is a set of tools that you can use to manage resources and applications hosted on Google Cloud Platform. You can download the Google Cloud SDK from the link shown in the video. For your ease, the link is also provided in the video description. You can also check out the cheat sheet for the command line from the link given in the video and in the description as well. GCP also provides Cloud Shell, a browser-based, interactive shell environment. You can access Cloud Shell from the GCP console, from here. When you start Cloud Shell, it provisions a E2 small Google Compute Engine virtual machine that runs on the cloud and can be used as a command line. Google Cloud APIs Google Cloud APIs are a key part of Google Cloud Platform, allowing you to easily add the power of everything, from storage access to machine learn and base tasks. You can access Cloud APIs from server applications, with Google Client Libraries, in a wide variety of popular programming languages, and from mobile apps via the Firebase SDKs, or by using third-party clients. You can also access the same services via Google SDK command line tools, or Google Cloud Console. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.